Hey! The Electric XP Step Through Model is here. I am very excited. I don't know about you, but let's do a walk through and check this thing out. One thing you want to do right out of the box is to tighten the pedals. Electric has done a good job in making sure they don't come loose, but you always want to check just in case. You also want to go over the entire bike, checking all the nuts, bolts, screws, anything that might have come loose during the shipping process that's really, really important to do. The tires don't come inflated, so you'll want to do that as well. I inflated ours to about 25 PSI. Perfect pressure for riding on all surfaces. Like the step over model, this model comes with the 20 by 4 inch fat tires as well as the manual disc brakes on front and rear. It also comes with a newly designed front LED light and reflector. The folding mechanism has a newly designed latch with integrated thumb lock. And that silver post protruding from the side above the latch is a security deadbolt for the battery. And it's typical folding pedals along with the standard sprocket on the front and the standard tourney transmission slash derailleur that is on the standard model. The standard bike rack is also included and they did redesign a new rear light reflector which is a little different than on the standard model. I'll show you that in a minute. And of course the knobby fat tires. Again there is the rear manual brake system. New step through model also incorporates the pro wheel cranks and bottom bracket just like the standard model and on the side here you can see the charging port with the rubber cap and the key lock unlock on off mechanism that is on the bottom of the bike much like the other design. Hopefully they'll change that in the future. That is a little bit cumbersome. As we move up to the handlebars you see the left grip along with the left brake lever for the front brakes, the keypad controller, as well as the LCD screen. On the right side we have the Shimano 7 speed shifter as well as the throttle and brake lever for the rear brake. So let's check out the LCD screen. The great thing about this LCD screen is it is brightly lit. We've had no problems seeing it in all light conditions. Let's crack this thing open and take a look at the battery. You know, the folding mechanism is pretty much the same on the step through model as it is the standard model. The battery, however, is different. The interface is different because of the new design of the step through frame. What this means is that the old battery and new batteries are not interchangeable. Another nice upgrade that Electric made was to the latching mechanism for the folding mechanism of the bike. Much easier to manage. Two additional helpful features is the addition of graduated markings on the handlebar stem which allows you to return the handlebars to the same point every time as well as a minimum insertion point. This also extends to the seat post. The seat post also has graduated markings so you can return that seat post to the same point every time as well as a minimum insertion point. Let's take a look at how I fold the bike up. I do it the same way every time by starting with the seat. I collapse that and then move on to loosening the collar for the steering stem. Fold that down into place. I move on to the pedals. I'll fold those up. Then I can move on to the main mechanism for the folding mechanism. I'll unlatch that. Simply fold that, rotate the two pieces back together. I'll also rotate those pedals out of the way so that they don't catch on the fender. And that is it.
These bikes grab a lot of attention and we're usually stopped multiple times by people wanting more information about the bikes and we're happy to share and even do a demonstration of how they fold up. One thing that we really wanted to showcase in this video was the differences in the frame styles between the standard model or the step over model and the step through model. Here you can clearly see the major difference in frame height between the two bikes. Here is a clearer shot of the standard frame model, step over model, versus the step through model. You can see the major difference. The step over model requires 24 inches of clearance to step over versus 18 inches for the step through model, a difference of 6 inches. I talked earlier about the change in the front LED headlight. Here you can see the change to the rear LED tail light. One thing that we knew we had to upgrade after the first ride, and that was the stock seat just not cushy enough for us. A safety item that we added was a rear strobe light. And no bike is complete without a holder for your favorite beverage. Adding a phone holder is also helpful. The panniers that come with the bike work well, but these waterproof panniers from Ortlieb are awesome. Yeah, we hope you had fun on the ride and the unboxing, unpacking. Mm -hmm. You know, we got our first two electric XPs about a year ago, just about this time a year yep. ago. Mm -hmm. And we did pay uh, out of our own pocket for those two particular bikes. You know, we've done a lot of promotion for electric bikes. So electric, uh, specifically Levi was uh, gracious enough to send us the step-through version mm -hmm. um, as, a, as a test bed, if you will. And so we certainly appreciate that. He sent that to us at no charge. Just yes. a full disclosure there. So. Thank you, Levi and crew. Definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, they make a great, great product. And you can see by the uh, you know side-by-side -side comparisons and pictures of you know the original uh, step over bike and then the step through bike and there are some differences yeah. and you know the, the step through is mainly for Shauna and uh, I don't think she found it too difficult or too much different than the original one so I am five foot eight and Brian is six foot two so we both took a turn on the bike just to see if it felt any different I noticed a slight difference and I think it was the pedals just felt slightly back from yeah. where the original bike's type pedals were located if that right. makes sense yeah they're, they're more that? they're more directly underneath the seat post now. Mm -hmm. There's uh, some adjust adjustment you can make to the seat yeah. because there's a little rail on each seat that you can slide back and forth a little bit to move that seat further back to kind of get the, the pedals you know, more out in front of you mm -hmm. uh, by about another inch or so. So that I'll do that, make that adjustment. Yeah, and that I should, think that would, uh, that would be really good. But right? overall, I didn't notice much difference in the bike other than getting on and off of it. And yeah. before I get to that, I'll let you Talk about how what you felt. Well, you know, when I got on, I, I could definitely tell the difference right away. It just felt a little bit different, but you know, uh, nothing you can't overcome. Had had you never been on the other version, you'd be none the wiser. Yeah, so. I agree with that. Yes. 
Um, so some of you may know in previous videos that I have fallen off the electric XP twice. One of them completely came out of my shoes. I have no idea how. Riding at night in Charleston, <laughs> downtown Charleston. Yeah, by South the pineapple Carolina. fountain, yeah. <laughs> to be exact. Um, through no fault of the bike, this was no. purely my fault, and it was just how I dismounted. Um, the first time I got off and stepped right into a hole, and the bike came over with me, and the second time I was trying to side my get myself lined up with a curb at the fountain and totally missed it and tried to get off the bike at the same time and came out of my shoes. So yeah. <laughs> I was really excited when I heard that electric was going to have a, um, a step through model. And knowing just because I've had a couple of challenges that hopefully that'll alleviate my challenges. Again, those were just, those were completely my fault. Well, early on, you know, when we did our first video, and I'll link that up top and in the description below, a couple of people did ask, hey, do you think the company will ever come out with a, a lower or mm -hmm. a step through type model like some other brands? And of course, you know, I think uh, Levi and crew at Electric, you know, listened to that and decided to, to, to develop that model. And I think it's going to be well received uh, because so it is too. quite a quite a bit difference, uh, quite a bit of difference in the step through. Again, I'm six two, so it's not such a huge deal for me. But for shorter people, we've had people ask, mm -hmm. "Hey, I'm four foot seven, or I'm five two. You right, know, right. It's, it's a little difficult. Or I'm elderly right. mm -hmm. and I can't lift my legs as high, exactly. or I have a problem with my hips. Or any any sort of thing that, that might prevent mm -hmm. them to be uh, from using the regular standard model and things. So right. Yeah. I think this sense. is. I, I do, and I think that this is going to be a great bike, a great option for those folks looking for something with an easier um, step through. Yeah. 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 You know. So I want to kind of backpedal. No pun intended. Ooh. <laughs> Okay. Uh, you know, to the beginning of the video, now it's super important, and this goes for really any any kind of equipment that you get when you first buy it, right? Just go over it, make sure everything is tight, all the nuts, bolts, screws are fastened the way they're supposed to be. And I did state earlier that electric kind of solved the issue or helped alleviate the issue anyway of the pedals uh, coming unfastened and then having some issues. I actually had the issue on my bike, so I can speak to that. Um, my fault, I didn't check to make sure the pedals were tight. And sure enough, one came undone and, you know, walled out the the the, um, the crank and I had to get a new crank. Uh, it looks like they've pretty much rectified that now. The pedals are, you know, fastened in with uh, some sort of Loctite, which you know, obviously helps prevent uh, them from backing out. Still, you should always go through everything and check it to make sure it's tight. Mm -hmm. um, Tires are inflated, sure. all of that good stuff before yeah. you get on it. And you yeah. know what? Put a helmet on your head as well. These things can go pretty fast. Yeah. Um, now, speaking of helmets, we had the mm -hmm. Senna R1 helmet here, and we've uh, showcased that in other videos, and it's in our Amazon store. Uh, I don't want to do a complete spoiler alert, but we have another helmet from another great company uh, coming up, and we'll, uh, we'll do, kind of do a showcase and video on those as well as we ride around on our bikes. Yeah. So I think you're going to like those. If, mm -hmm. if these aren't your style, then I think the other ones are pretty cool. Yeah, we should have those in a week or two and then have a video out sometime after that. Yeah, we love, love, love these Senna R1 helmets. Yeah. They have been great for us. The, these helm the new helmets that we're going to uh, review and show you actually have a feature that I think is going to save our marriage um, um, when we're riding the electric XP. And you'll see exactly <laughs> what I mean. So I want to keep in a little bit of suspense. It's like walkie-talkies in our coach. <laughs> you know, this is going to be something that helps us when we're biking. That's right. Yeah. And if you're not familiar with the Senna R1s, again, check them out in our uh, Amazon store. They're mm -hmm. Bluetooth. They have intercom. You can hook up uh, your uh, music device, iPad, iPod, whatever it might be. Uh, has FM stereo, so you can tune into FM frequencies. Uh, you can have up to five people on an intercom, so that's pretty cool. We use it religiously when we bike, especially long distances, right. and through some uh, areas that we're not familiar with. So that I'm usually in front, Sean is in back, and mm -hmm. I can say, you know, turning left, turning right, or hey, watch out for this, you know, hole mm -hmm. left or right, whatever it might be. So. Yeah, that is extremely helpful, and it's just nice to be able to carry on a regular conversation as if you were sitting next to each other, right. but you're riding bikes. It's very cool. Yeah. Before we get into some of the accessories that we have added to the bike, um, I think you may have shown pictures of it or some of the video, but we'll talk about that for just a moment. We are super, super huge fans of the electric XP all yeah. the way around, and it's funny, everywhere we go, I can't think of one place that we haven't, people stop us and want to know more about the bike. In fact, when we were filming this video today, we were stopped twice in the middle of it. Yeah. So actually, three times, yeah. You may have noticed on the bike that I was riding, it has a different seat. 
than the seat that comes on the bike. It's the Bikeroo, and it's mm -hmm. nice big wide saddle for those, those of us that Don't need say it. comfort. Mm -mm. Right. <laughs> or have a wider bum. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, really, it's really a great, uh, it's great a nice seat. seat, and that's yeah. uh, in our Amazon store as well. Mm -hmm. Another thing we changed out the bike. This particular model did come with the the, the stock panniers, oh, yeah. and you know, while they're great, they're really not our style. Uh, we like to be able to remove uh, the panniers if we go someplace because they are just as easy to remove. So if we left them on the bike, someone could just come and just clip them off and, and be off with them. So we did buy the Ortlieb waterproof panniers. Uh, these are the large version, I believe. Uh, a little pricey. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they're about $160 a pair. Uh, but you get what you pay for. They're super rugged, absolutely to totally waterproof. And the great thing, you clip them off the bike. It's got an extra they're long so strap. Nice. Yeah. And you can either carry it with a carrying handle or you just uh, put the strap over you and carry it like a big Merce or whatever. <laughs> and then you can put all your stuff in there. From yeah, shopping. they're great. We've used it to buy groceries several times, and I think we hit an orchard one time. A gallon of milk, yeah. some eggs, everything we had fit in both of those. Yeah, apple uh, strudels nice. or whatever went in there. Yeah, they're great. Yes. A couple other additions that we have on Brian's bike that we will add to my bike are cup holder and a phone, phone holder, holder, iPhone holder as well. Yeah. Am I missing anything? The rear... Uh, blinker light. So we oh. did add a, and I did get a shot of that. And again, that information will be in our Amazon store mm -hmm. and in the description. But we did add that safety light to the rear so that you know people coming up at night, especially or even during the day, as long as that battery is fully charged, that strobe light feature is super bright and it's got multiple features on it, different kinds of strobe features or solid, you know, brake light type feature. It doesn't illuminate as a brake, but it just right. stays on and, and nice bright red. So if I had one complaint, and it's not really a complaint, just a kind of a minor inconvenience for those of you who think maybe, well, if I buy one of the old style bike and one of the new style bike, I'll have two batteries, you know, we can swap back and forth. You can't do that with this new style because the way they had to design the frame, the battery interface is entirely different. Mm -hmm. So you can't swap batteries between old style and new style or the regular frame and the step through frame. Eh, minor inconvenience, but no big deal. Uh, it's just part of the design that uh, they had to uh, do to be able to to uh, to incorporate to that that mm -hmm. step through style. And for Brian and I, two thumbs up. If we had five each, we would do that, but we only we have do. two each hand. thumbs. We only have two thumbs. <laughs> so two thumbs up. Absolutely, the step through is a hit with us. Um, I love it. I am very happy about it. Thank you again, Electric. And if you haven't checked out Electric XPs, do so. We uh, are big fans of Electric. And you know, if you've been wanting an uh, electric bike and your budget is you know $1,000 or less, mm -hmm. this is a super option. That's right. It's well built, rugged, and you know, it's done everything we've asked it to do. The battery has been great. We get, you know, probably somewhere on average around 40 miles. We've never really measured it to be quite honest, but we have to say somewhere around 40 miles, I think is probably a pretty good uh, mileage before you know we have to you know think about charging the battery because it's down to its last maybe two or three bars mm -hmm. it's usually when we recharge ours when they're down there so yeah great option thank you again levi and your team from electric xp for allowing us to test this bike and provide a review and show this bike off to our subscribers as well as others yeah. you guys can't go wrong it's an awesome bike we yes. love it yeah that's it so hey, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Make sure you leave uh, any comments down below, any questions about the bike, we'd be happy to answer. If not, we'll pass you along to uh, Levi or Robbie over at uh, Electric XP Bikes so that they can uh, help you out properly. And with that, we'll see ya. See ya.